Welcome back to Passport Style, everybody. In this box, we have another very special piece from Viz Vim. This is the most beautiful boot I have ever seen. It is the High Top Folk Grizzly, handmade with bison leather, the best quality in a boot you're probably ever gonna see. Let's talk about it. So these retailed at a pretty crazy 1700 US. I got these for a fraction of that. A guy on Grail sold these to me. I did a little research. It looks like he got them for $550 on sale from Mr. Porter. And that was basically able to uh, help him break even. They didn't fit him. I'm really excited to open these up and show you what they look like on feet. Massive, massive box. All right, so Grizzly Boots High Folk Bison in the camel colorway. Men's size 12. Got that signature of Hiroki Nakamura. It's been right here on the box. Ooh, these are a beast. Just like the uh, Boys Treasure Folk, which was unboxed in the Thick Daddy Mail Day video, you can smell the leather. And it's not a bad smell, like cheap leather. It, it smells so, I don't know, I feel like I'm in the forest right now. Just a quick look at the bottom. Also comes with a hologram, so you know it's, so you know it's good. <laughs> dust bag, one dust bag, little, little bit of tissue paper as well. So there are a couple details I want to point out before we put them on feet. First of all, it's just the overall construction. I mean, I own a couple of Visvin products already, so I'm not a stranger to just how well these are made. They are handmade as well, I should know. And uh, that's definitely part of what contributes to the $1,700 retail price. And then just other miscellaneous details. So these are replaceable outsoles. Usually Visvim uses those Vibram uh, outsole. This here is a day night sole, British made. I've, I've never heard of that brand, but it seems A1. This is what is called a Goodyear welt, as far as I'm aware. If you see the stitching all the way around here, basically what that, why that welt is so important in shoes is once that outsole gets all the way worn down, you're basically, uh, you can take it to a cobbler what they'll do is just peel it off. You can see videos of that on YouTube and they can just stick another one on there. And the next detail I want to point out is this leather. So it's bison leather all the way through. It's gonna be cow leather for the insole, but everything else, as far as I'm aware, is bison leather for this model. On this tag, you can see which season it is. I'm not sure which season this is from, but every Visvin product has these hand-painted patches which tells you which season it's from. You can see it says Goodyear Handmade, so it tells you the Goodyear Weld, and that this entire shoe was handmade. The quality on this is just absolutely crazy. I mean, the guy said they run a little bit small, so let's put them on and see how they feel. So after the first time wearing these on about a 50 minute hike, I've never really owned boots before like this, only a pair of Chelsea boots before. So take this with a grain of salt and maybe the review's a little bit more pure, but 
First wear, of course, it's gonna take tens of hours to really break these in, but super comfortable. Didn't wear that thick of socks, just the hidden New York socks you've seen on my Instagram. Pretty dope so far. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this at all, please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button. Once I hit 1000 subscribers, then I can start uh, paying for these videos with some YouTube money and it really encourages me. Also leave a comment with any questions you may have and I'll be sure to get back to you guys.